guys welcome to another episode of FNF Garage uh, working on the F250s again so uh, let's get at her <laughs> who drove this thing? Hmm? I was wondering who drove this thing. I want to know the story behind the bungee cords. Right? <laughs> We're okay then. <laughs> Sixty-nine. Sixty-eight. So sixty-seven. Sixty-seven had a wing. Yeah. Okay. Sixty-eight didn't have the wing window and it had the marker light. Yeah. Sixty-nine had had three marks right there, and it's a different, a different body style, a little wider, a little longer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christian Lauber. Uh, I run for the Three Gen Racing Team 88 through the Great Race. I'm running a '68 Mustang 302. <laughs> Um, it's badge wrong, fortunately, but the engine has been bulletproof. Very fortunate. This is our third race this year. Um, for those that don't, don't know what the great race is, it's actually a timed vintage rally. Uh, also endurance, because obviously you have to make the 2,400 miles. Um, but each day we get to go through, follow instructions, and then each day we get scores. Today we did pretty well, and we're very excited. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving the great race because everyone comes out. Everyone, we get to do all this kind of cool stuff. And Grants Pass, you know, obviously <laughs> represent here awesome. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's about it. How many miles have you run over the last few, few days? Okay, over the last few days, I believe we've done, I want to say it's like 9 to 1,000. I'm, I'm not 100% I'm sure. Because, again, we do zigzags all mm -hmm. through the country. I'm sure probably getting to Riverside from here is probably like five hours, but <laughs> it's taken us three days. <laughs> so it's been it's been lovely. But yeah, it's it's been a good time. We're uh, we're enjoying it. Anything else I can answer for you? No, I think that's it, Chris. Cool. That's awesome. Thank you very much, man. No problem, the car no is awesome. Thanks, man. I hope you guys make it. It's so loud they have to have headphones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> Sending something up to uh, Tacoma for my uncle. <laughs> so we set off to find somebody to take this cub up to my uncle in Tacoma. Couldn't find anybody that we were talking to before, but we found this very nice lady, this Nova. And she was nice enough to take the cup up there, so hopefully my uncle can find it. Yeah. Same exact thing that happened on the last one. The, the thing in the center broke. Trying to get this old sticker off. <laughs> Got the heat gun going. Careful not to put too much heat into the body. Because it can warp. I think it's hot enough. <laughs> Working away here. Uh, my stepsister brought me her leftover Burger King. <laughs> so, I'm gonna snack for a little while. <laughs> Probably call it a night tonight. It's starting to get dark. So, but getting there. I'm trying to get this old graphic off. And it's a pain, because, I mean, this graphic is probably the original graphic from 76, because that's the original paint. You see, I went through a little bit here. I think that's the primer. So. Getting there. Got a lot of body work to do. <laughs> to do. Nothing too crazy. Cut all the uh, trim notches off because I've decided with a little bit of help from my dad that I'm gonna go and uh, go ahead and make this a uh, trimless truck. So 
no chrome. <laughs> what are we doing, guys? Well, some crackhead painted over the original sticker that was on this fender and the rest of the truck. So, trying to get the sticker that's been on this truck since 1976. Trying to get it off. <laughs> trying to get it off. And it's been an adventure, to say the least. How many razor blades have we gone through? 20 or 30, something like that. So you're saying I got a good thing, I got a pack of 100 in my truck? Yeah. It's a very good thing that you got a pack of 100s in the truck. You guys have been on this for like, what, a couple hours before I got here? I have been doing this for two days now. Two days! And this is about as far this horse has gotten. Two days per fender. Got a little removed here. Yeah, I got a little bit of rust repair to do. A little bit of back clean. Just like always, the right thing, the wrong way. Yep. And yes, we did try a wire wheel. Forrest did try other methods. Yeah. But the fact that this has been on there for so long, and if you do notice, it is so gummy. It just keeps clogging up every other method. So, yep, so here we are with the good old, good old 3M high power brake cleaner. <laughs> and the cheapest set of razor blades we can find. Yep. I've actually had the these razor blades in my toolbox for probably four years. So, it's about time they get used. Yeah. Because I think I bought a pack of 100, like, forever ago, when I was doing mobile mechanicing, and used, like, three or four of them. I think Josh's vice grips work better than mine for this. It's the angle. He's got that fancy, uh, high-performance tip. <laughs> you just got the big waller or log there for us. I'm sorry. Right. It worked really good for doing a, the getting the graphic itself off. Like Other than I kept breaking blades. Like Ordering up this, we got a snowmobile engine in the pole. Yeah, this isn't the real project for the guys. We're just teasing you. Mm -hmm. This. Done, 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 yeah, this, done. This has its own. Is why we are here. Series. This has its own series. That's gonna have its own series. So. Oh, yeah. But the real reason for today. Yeah. This is just so Forrest can have a new trunk that's not a total pile of shit. Because if anybody's watched the first video, then you'll know I kind of explained it. The whole point of restoring this is to give it to my grandfather, who owns. My dad's truck that he bought brand new in 97. And the truck is mint. It's gorgeous. What is that truck? It's a 97 F350 four door, long bed, four wheel drive, 7.3 diesel. It's got over 500,000 miles on it on the original injectors, which is unheard of and is probably ridiculous because most people wouldn't buy a vehicle with that many miles on it. But she's a diesel. She's just getting broken. <laughs> and it's a lot better than my pile of crap Chevy. Anybody want to buy it? It's for sale. Got a service bid. We'll take offers right now. Yeah. Bidding for starts sure. now. Just, just comment whatever you want to pay for it. We, we ain't talking much. <laughs> just come on. We need some money. The more money you give us, the better YouTube videos we can make. You heard the fella. <laughs> Me and Josh are going to go for a drive real quick for us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. going to head to the... Uh... <laughs> Alright, guys. That's it for this episode of FNF Garage. Uh, I got those fenders all stripped off. All that's left is... Uh, uh, body, a little bit more body work, fill some rust in, spondo, paint them. Uh, I got a lot more work to do on the, the rest of the trucks, but at least I'll get the fenders ready. Got doors, got to change glass, whole lot. This is going to be a long series of it, so hang in there. Uh, there'll be more mini bike builds and everything coming out on FNF Garage. So if you guys would please 
hit that like and subscribe button, uh, leave a comment, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, have a good one.